One of the dangers of social media culture is that we think we need everyone to know what we're thinking about a particular topic. I need to tell everyone how I feel about the subject. And this can pervade into our own personal lives beyond just our social media presence. We may then bring that into our relationships where we think, well, I need to speak my mind right now. But the Bible tells us a different type of way of living. Uh, James tells us that we need to be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. That idea of being slow to speak literally means slow to utter a sound. One of the things we could learn that would be of great help to our culture is to discern the right time to speak and the right time to be quiet. Proverbs tells us over and over again that even a fool will seem to be wise if he restrains his lips. It tells us that a man who has knowledge spares his words. And at this time, as we think about the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Jesus himself spoke when it was necessary and did not speak when it was unnecessary. Even when he was in the face of Herod, the Bible tells us that Herod questioned him many things, but Jesus answered him nothing. And even when he's with Pilate and Pilate asks him, where are you from? The Bible tells us that Jesus said nothing. With all the eloquence, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he had infinitely beyond any person that could come in contact with him, Jesus found it prudent to be quiet. In your relationships right now, are you swift to hear or swift to speak? Because the culture of our day seems to be exactly the opposite of what James tells us. We are slow to listen, swift to speak, and quick to become angry. Everything enrages us very quickly if it doesn't agree with what we think. And then we need to tweet about it. We need to put an Instagram post about it. We need a nice Facebook post to tell what we think about the subject instead of being quick to listen and slow to speak. Even in our world today, they can be extended to when you want to tell someone that they're doing something wrong. We must have the discernment of when it's the right time to say something and when it's the right time to say nothing. And the closer and closer you come to Christ, the better and better you'll become at discerning that. God is the one who is swift to hear our prayers. He's slow to speak and slow to become angry. Those are characteristics of God. Are those characteristics of your life?